A year ago, Paul O'Neill was fired from his job as George Bush's Treasury Secretary for disagreeing too many times with the President's policy on tax cuts. Tonight, O'Neill, who is known for speaking his mind, talks for the first time about his two years inside the Bush administration. His story is the centerpiece of a new book being published this week about the way the Bush White House is run. Entitled The Price of Loyalty, the book, by a former Wall Street Journal reporter, draws on interviews with high-level officials who gave the author their personal accounts of meetings with the president, their notes and documents. But the main source of the book was Paul O'Neill. Didn't someone in this administration, high up, yeah. call him on the phone and warn him not to do this book? Yes, yes. And well, who was it? Don Rumsfeld. And what happened at President Bush's very first National Security Council meeting is one of O'Neill's most startling revelations. From the very beginning, there was a conviction uh, that Saddam Hussein was a bad person and that he needed to go. He says that going after Saddam Hussein was topic A 10 days after the inauguration, eight months before September 11th. From the very first instance, it was about Iraq, it was about what we can do uh, to change this regime. Now, everybody else thought that grew out of 9-11. No. But this book says it was day one of this administration. Day one, these things were laid uh, and sealed. As Treasury Secretary, O'Neill was a permanent member of the National Security Council. He says in the book he was surprised at the meeting that questions such as why Saddam and why now were never asked. It's all about finding a way to do it. That was the tone of it. The president saying, go find me a way to do this.